no one broke into my room. There was a knock at like uh, nine forty. I kind of slept in. I had to like <laughs> try to hurry, like push the bed back in the dark. I wasn't really dressed, so I had to like kind of like cover myself with a blanket and then open the door. They're saying, "Is your hot water working?" I was like, "I don't know. I haven't tested it." And they're like, "Okay." It's like <laughs> there was a uh, breakfast included with the room, but like I, I, I pretty much got down there like with ten minutes to spare, and uh, it was basically just like a like a roll and some jams, which is kind of normal for hostels, but like, it was like a roll roll, it wasn't like bread, so I didn't really feel like having to cut it and all that, and I wasn't that hungry. But the hotel I got now is really close to the previous one. I went to this uh, cafe, I was hoping there'd be food there since I didn't have breakfast. And there wasn't, I just got some like a lychee tea or long end tea. But when I was finished, I, cause like, I had this problem in Thailand too, but like very rarely do they have like trash cans for you. So like I feel weird just not busting my own table, but I didn't see any place to like return anything or drop, throw anything away. So I was trying to ask them, I was like, trash can? And then she didn't understand that. And I was like, um, I was like, do I clean the table? And then she's like, you want ice? And I'm like, <laughs> it's like, I'm trying to be nice, <laughs> but I'm just causing them more confusion. <laughs> so I just like walked away. Uh, I said, sorry, I just walked away. On the map, I saw that there was this uh, kind of small lake or pond or whatever. So I decided to walk around there, and it was kind of the more built-up area. And then there's this whole, like, uh, blocked-off section. I saw on the map that there was a Harry Potter uh, cafe near my hostel. Um, so I started heading towards that. It wasn't that um, strongly themed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there's like some merchandise you could buy, like the necklaces and stuff, and then they had like the wands and some of the drinks had names. Like, so I got the butter beer, which uh, it was good. It was um basically like if you're to make a root beer float with uh, um, butter pecan ice cream. I still hadn't had breakfast. Um, I saw I, like they didn't have that many healthy options, but I saw like a bowl of fruit. I was like, oh, the fruit, and she said, "Sit." It, Again, there's still kind of a language barrier, but she's saying that I couldn't get the fruit or something. I don't know. And so I just said, I'll just get french fries. And she smiled. Like, that made it easier. A few minutes later, she's like, uh, I have to, are you okay with waiting for the french fries? I was like, yeah. After a while, she's like, we don't have french fries. <laughs> there's this whole, like, back area that I kept seeing people going into. And so I was kind of curious if maybe there was more decorations back there. And I started walking back there. And uh, <laughs> there was, like, 20 people <laughs> sitting back there. And they were, like, all facing me. So it was just weird, and like I stand out, um, but so it was just weird walking into a room and 20 people were just looking at you. <laughs> I was just like, I did, <laughs> just did a 360 and walked up, or I guess it'd be 180. I still haven't eaten. Um, so I was doubling back to this uh, um, place I wanted to check out, and uh, they were like packed. So I started going up the street, like to where uh, my hostel was supposed to be, their hotel. Checked in and then went out to get lunch, I think. I can't remember the order. Um, for lunch, I ended up going to this. Uh, Noodle place. It was essentially the same basic premise as the um, d dinner that I had. <laughs> Instead of being like on a hot plate, it was just uh, you have like a bowl of hot broth and you just keep adding stuff to it. My laptop started kind of running out of juice, and I realized I don't have my charger. And I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> Luckily, I again I was staying only like ten blocks away from the other hotel, so I rushed over there and they had it, so that was good. Um, and then. To kind of, it started raining um, right when I like got to the other hotel, so I was trying to find something to do. So I um, went back to that place that I was trying to get to earlier, and it was really busy. And this time it wasn't that busy, so I sat down and uh, like before I even ordered anything, the um, waiter brought me a uh, beer. <laughs> that was good service. And then um, I wasn't that hungry because I just had lunch a little while ago. But they had a really cool menu, and like I, I kind of want to just keep going back there, but I'm sure I can find similar dishes elsewhere. But like. It was like the perfect, I mean like, the restaurant was really small, um, and obviously there's a language barrier, but like, um, it's kind of an interesting view of looking out in the corner. I got some uh, eel soup, and I think that was like, maybe like a buck or something like that. And it was good, it was kind of midpoint between mushroom soup and chicken noodle, as far as like consistency and flavor. Um, not in appearance, that would look weird. Like, so it was a really small place and most of the tables were full. Um, so I was actually just sitting at this little table with uh, the waiter. He started um, pouring himself a beer um, right around the time I, needed, I was going to get my second one. And so uh, 
he um, asked if I, or he kind of motioned that, that I, if I wanted another one. I said, yeah. And then so I went back about it. And then um, we uh, did a cheers. And I was trying to ask him, like, how you say cheers in Vietnamese. And he said, no English. So, um, so pretty much the rest of this, was <laughs> this um, encounter was with no real communication. So we did the cheers. And then uh, he kind of, like, after our initial sip, like, with the next sip, he was, like, kind of motioning, like, he's like, eh. So he's like saying like we, we need to both drink this much or whatever. I was like okay. So it kind of became this little running thing where <laughs> we were like m matching each other. And he was a small guy, so um, I can see it. Like one beer to me is like water, um, especially because it was just like a lager. I think it was like four point four point something percent, so it was nothing. Um, and uh, he was asking if I wanted another one. I was like okay. And then uh, so he went out. And then uh. There's like a slightly more delay with getting this one, and then uh, the beer came because uh, I, I had his face blindness to begin with. But someone else, I thought it was someone else bringing the beer, and then I was like, I, and <laughs> and it was someone else. Um, so I guess like just uh, part of their job is like to kind of um, encourage the customers to drink, but then they can't just keep drinking because they're not able to work. So they probably like take turns. So he's probably going out back out back to drink some water and stuff, but um, it's not going to suck. The only reason I ordered the, the next beer was to keep, um, hang out with him, and then, uh, <laughs> so, uh, oh, and then at one point, um, there was, like, a long procession, probably coming from the cafe, but um, there was a bunch of people dressed in Harry Potter or, um, robes. He was excited about that, and so I said, Harry Potter, he's like, so that was, I guess that was the one real conversation we had. But, yeah, the, the restaurant, the menu, they had frog, they had snail, pig heart, gooey duck, Buffalo, veal. I could go there for the next week and I'd be getting something new every time that I never had before. But I'm sure a lot of places around here have those kind of foods, but it's just, <laughs> it was like the perfect place because it was like really cheap. Like I think um, with the two beers and the um, the soup, it came out to a little over $3. And then so I came back to the hotel. dinner I went up to this uh, um, brewery and I sense about it I'm going from bar to bar it was on like the third floor uh, of one of the buildings looking overlooking the square that was like blocked off and so I figured it'd be a good view and the square was kind of empty when I was out there earlier but then uh, all of a sudden now it was just like packed with people um, and there was like performers and dancers <laughs> So that was cool. And then the uh, the bar, it was good. Um, they only had like two, for a brewery, they only had two beers. And one's a lager and one's a dunkel. So neither were that bad, but it's kind of, it's kind of weird for a brewery to only have two. But I, I get that it's not the same kind of market. And then for dinner, I had a pork satay skewers, which I'm never really that big of a fan of skewers because it's always awkward to eat. Because then they gave me a dipping sauce and I never, never know how to like, like the pieces weren't big enough to easily dip into the bowl. So I had to like keep spitting it down the stick. And but it was good. So a couple things. Um, this city is very dirty. Like not, not like in a, like a judgmental way. But like I mean, Thailand wasn't exactly spotless, and like the hotel. I got used to a certain level of um, dirtiness in the hotels, but like here it's like dusty. Like uh, it's not as apparent now, but like it's like just walking to the bathroom. I'm just constantly getting stuff on my feet. Like my socks this morning were covered in dust, and I don't know why that is. Like, <laughs> it's like just really dusty. And the other thing is the I had some like this in um, Thailand, but like so the like so the key the keychain for the room is usually the actual key, like the card. But uh, here it's just like a keychain, but they have them like so big. There's the key. There's the keychain. Why is it that big? The city is growing on me. It's just, there's like little things that are annoying. Mostly just like figuring out how the stores work and all that. But like the food's been amazing. Um, and the people that I'm actually interacting with other than like trying to get, get through traffic and all that, um, they're uh, really nice. They drive on the right side of the road. Right as in both correct. 
and uh, direction. Um, but like, so I had just gotten used to the reverse in uh, Thailand, and so like, it's weird trying to train my brain to look left instead of right first. Uh, although really here you kind of just have to keep looking both ways because it's it's like Thailand on Bangkok on steroids as far as like just weaving through traffic. And that's a hard habit to break once I go back to the states because I'm so used to just walking across the street. Which I, I guess like I mean I know people from like New York are used to that to a degree, but like this is insanity. So this is everything. Anyway, till tomorrow. Oh.